this street is Homewell. It was originally Hammerswell. Hammer, H A M A, was a man. Here is the spring that gave Haven its name. The old Saxon word for spring was Funta. This one was called Hammon Funta. Now the N on the end of the name Hammer meant belonging to, like our apostrophe S. So Hammond Funta was Hammer's Spring. And the name changed to Hambunt and eventually to Haven. This is St Faith's Church. A church was built here in the 12th century and in the year 1200 Haven was given a charter a document giving the, the people certain rights. After that, Haven was a tiny market town with a population of several hundred. This is the old house at home. Unfortunately, there are not many old buildings in Haven. The town was devastated by a fire in 1761. At that time, it was still very small. In 1801, at the time of the first census, Haven still had a population of only 1,670. Railway station, the railway reached Haven in 1847. This is the site of a railway line that ran from Haven to Hailing Island and it opened in 1867. This is Haven Park. It opened in 1889. At that time, Haven was still a very small town with a population of less than 4,000. The parchment makers recalls the old parchment making industry in Haven, but parchment making here ceased in 1936. This is Haven Leisure Centre and it opened in 1982. This is the old Haven Post Office. It was built in 1936 when Haven was a little market town of about 7,500 people. This is Market Parade. It was built in 1962. The first police station in Haven opened in 1858. This modern police station opened in 1964. This is Haven College. It opened in 1974. This is the Meridian Centre in Haven, which opened in 1991.